Hello and welcome to the LSC SciFair Online Library Introduction. By the end of this presentation, you will know about library services and resources available to you as a student. You'll also learn about what librarians do, how we can help you this semester, and all the ways to contact a librarian. A few things to know before we begin. This presentation is about 10 minutes long. After we're done, please take another minute and fill out our survey. It helps us make sure you're learning what we're teaching and helps us improve for next time. If you're viewing this as a class assignment, you must fill out the survey so we can let your professor know you attended. Even if you're not taking it for class credit, go ahead and take it anyway, and you'll be entered to win a $20 Amazon gift card sponsored by the Friends of the Library. We'll give you the survey link at the end of this presentation. The most important thing to know about librarians is that we're here to help you, and we love working with students. Think of librarians as information ninjas who can point you in the right direction when it comes to any kind of research question. Now, it's important to realize that not everyone who works in a library is a librarian. So when you visit us, you'll notice a couple of different service desks in the library. One is called the circulation desk. Circulation staff check items in and out, put the books back on the shelves, pull the items people put on hold, and do many other jobs that keep the library running smoothly. The other is the reference desk, and that's where you'll find librarians. Librarians are specially trained. We're required to have master's degrees in library or information studies. Our job is to teach students how to use the library and how to use information. So when you get an assignment in class that requires you to do research, you can ask a librarian for help finding information sources and help citing them in formats like MLA or APA. We can also help you out with everyday information needs like how do I register to vote or help you find books, movies, music, and more. Ask us anything, really. Librarians are also online six days a week to help you. We're available Monday through Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. online. You can email us, text us, start a live chat session, or schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Fill out our online form and a librarian will be in touch with you soon to set a date and time for an online meeting. So we're going to flip over to our webpage now. You can find us at cyflib.info. You can always find the latest information about the library here, including our hours of operation, our online hours, and contact information. Let's talk about what else you'll find on our webpage. It's divided into three columns with different color boxes. In the middle column, the green boxes have information about the library building and staff, as well as the numerous services we provide. Let's talk library cards. Your student ID is also your library card and has your library barcode number on it. For the fall semester, student IDs will be made in the library for students by appointment only. You can make an appointment at cyflib.info backslash IDAPPT. Keep in mind that you don't actually need a physical student ID card to access library services. Whether you have a student ID card or not, it's helpful to have a library barcode to log into online databases and access your library account. You can request one online. Click on LSE student ID backslash library card, fill out the form and hit submit. You must include your Lone Star College email address. We'll email that account with your library barcode and four-digit PIN within two business days. The LSC Cypher Library is also a branch of the Harris County Public Library, so we have information on our page about getting an HCPL card too. If you don't already have an HCPL card, sign up for an iNode Digital Access Card and you'll get instant access to all of HCPL's online collections, including ebooks, movies, music, and more. Let's talk about the blue boxes on the left side of our page. This area is super important because this is how you're going to connect to our online research tools. We're not going to talk about all of these today, but two of the most important things to know about are the library catalog and the research databases. The library catalog is the online tool to look up books and other items physically in the library. The catalog connects you to three library systems you can borrow from, Lone Star College, Harris County Public Library, and Montgomery County Memorial Library System. You can search for books by keyword, title, author, and more. You can limit search results by library location, format, date, and more. 
You can also use the catalog to log in to your library account to manage your checkouts. You'll need your library barcode and PIN for that. You can also place a hold on almost any catalog item with your library barcode and PIN and request to pick it up at the LSC SciFair Library, usually in a few days. When you place a book on hold, choose SciFair Library as your pickup location. You can also choose one of our nearby HCPL branches, Catherine Tyra at Bear Creek, Northwest, or Fairbanks. When your item is ready to pick up at SciFair Library, you'll get an email or phone call depending on your account preferences. Once your hold is ready, just drop by the library and retrieve your books from the hold shelf in the library. You can also call our circulation department at 281-290 3210 and schedule your time for curbside pickup. Curbside service is available six days a week, Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The SciFair Library also offers cloud-based printing services and you can print remotely from any location. First, log in to myprintcenter.lonestar.edu with your My Lone Star username and password. Upload your print job from your computer. Second, Click Add Funds to add money to your account with a credit or debit card. You have to add at least $5. Prints are $0.10 cents a page for black and white and $0.50 cents a page for color. Then just come to the print room on the first floor of the library to pick up your prints. We're back on our web page and the blue box is on the left. The next important research tool to know about here are our research databases. Databases are huge collections of information sources. The LSC libraries provide access to about 100 different databases, and you can use them as long as you're a student here. Anytime you click on a link to a database, you'll need to log in. If you requested a library barcode, you can type it in and log in that way. If you don't have a library barcode yet, that's okay. Click on the My Lone Star username and password login link below and log in the same way you log into My Lone Star and D2L. Databases contain lots of different types of sources that are mostly unavailable for free on the open web. The most common database sources are articles, published in newspapers, magazines, trade publications, and scholarly journals. But our databases also contain electronic books, reference works like encyclopedias, streaming videos, and images. Some databases are general and have information on lots of topics. Other databases might be specific to nursing or history. Some databases focus on one type of source, like our streaming video databases, while others will have lots of different types of sources. Databases have current sources that are very recent, as well as older sources like historical newspapers. When you get a research assignment, it's a good idea to use the databases to find research sources. You'll find reliable information on your topic, and you can use the great features databases have for students, like automatic citation. Your professors might even require you to use the databases for research assignments. And if you're planning on transferring to a four-year university, you'll probably use databases there, too. But databases can be a little confusing if you don't use them often, so we have a lot of help available. You can always ask a librarian for help. That's what we're here for. We can recommend a database for your topic, brainstorm search results, and use database tools, pretty much anything. Don't forget that you have five ways to contact us. We've also created a lot of YouTube videos to help you use our databases, so check those out on our YouTube channel at LSC SciFair Library. We have playlists for Academic Search Complete, Credo Reference, CINAHL Plus with Full Text, our biggest nursing and health database, our ebook databases, and more. If you need help with other aspects of research besides using the databases, take a look at either the subject guides or some of the citation help on our website. We have research guides on lots of different topics like academic integrity, current events, MLA format, and more. We have even more help in the citation help section. You'll find resources to help with APA, MLA, and Chicago style. And remember, if you need help with citation, contact a librarian. Let's talk about the last section of our webpage, the purple boxes on the right-hand side. This is where you'll find information about library events and the library on social media. Because we're a public library, we have events for all ages, babies, children, teens, and adults. Most of our events are online right now, and you can browse them all by selecting an age group or calendar. For children, we have online story times and craft programs. Teens have book clubs and recommended reads. We also have programs for adults, like our book clubs, our writers group, and our life program. 
Back on our webpage, the last thing to mention is how to stay up to date on all the new programs and services happening. Follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more at LSE SciFair Library. Or sign up for our e-update library newsletter and you'll get a weekly email with all the great library stuff happening that week. That concludes the LSC SciFair Online Library Introduction. You've learned about the people, resources, and events the library has to offer. We hope you'll use our services and resources and reach out to us if you have any questions. Please take a moment now to fill out our online survey, especially if you're taking this for class credit or if you want to win the $20 Amazon gift card sponsored by the Friends of the Library. You can open your phone's camera and hold it over the QR code on screen to get the link on your phone or go online to fill it out at cyflib.info backslash ollie survey. Thanks for watching and take care.